Hi, my name is Bernie Hogan and I'm a senior research fellow here at the Oxford Internet Institute. Uh, I teach a course that's the Fundamentals of Data Science that we teach as part of the Social Data Science program. It's actually the first course that you will be taking on our program and it guides students through a lot of the core technologies that they'll be using later on throughout the year. Uh, we teach it primarily in a programming language called Python, which is one that students tend to find very easy to approach, and it has a lot of support from the wider community. That's a community of computer scientists and hackers, uh, statisticians, and so there's a lot you can do with the skills that you get in this course. It begins with just the basic fundamentals of Python. Even though we do expect our students to have some technical background, we want to make sure that everybody is on the same footing. We then quickly move on to accessing data, and this is where we think about the varieties of data you can get, say, from the web or from sensors and other things that we feed into and use for analysis. Once we have this data, you have to shape it for the analysis, and so that's where we emphasize data wrangling. Some people say that data wrangling is actually 80% of data science, that most of it is about unstructured, messy data, there's missing data, and how do we put that in a form that we can actually get an insight out of? We use Python to do that. We use uh, a number of statistical packages there, particularly one called Pandas, which is the Python package for analyzing data. Uh, we give students the skills to do that, and then we do it, hopefully, in kind of a fun way. The course is engineered to be a a bit of solo programming and a bit of group programming. The students that come in have a variety of technical skills and some are very, very well acquainted with Python and some have virtually no uh, experience with it. So we think that peer learning is a really effective way to get everybody on the same page. You'll have a set of assignments that will be, say, taking data from the web with a team and then finding some interesting insight about that. But you'll also have solo assignments where you have to do a, an analysis on a data set all by yourself. After four weeks with four days of uh, coursework and tutorial each week, uh, you should be really well equipped to move on to the next stage for the social data science program, which is where we take this kind of data that we've done and make it widescreen, and that's in the, the subsequent course on big data analytics.